taking care of our mental health. this vlog you guys Woo! my first vlog of the new year I'm feeling fresh and inspired you probably can tell by the title of this video I just want it to be about some New Year's goals that I have probably just like mention them sprinkled throughout since I'm gonna do an entire podcast episode dedicated to New Year's goals or resolutions if you will um, which if you guys don't listen to my podcast you should I feel like I get DMs or comments sometimes being like sis I didn't even know you have a podcast you never like talk about it or like promote it so if you guys didn't know happy hour podcast I can link it in the description you guys should check it out what I need to mention is that I'm out front right now of my gynecologist office because I starting off the new year strong doing all my doctor's appointments health checkup so go me proud of myself it's so funny it's always so quick in there you're like no concerns you're healthy healthy you know blood pressure height weight everything they're like good to go bye see you in a year I'm like okay bye <laughs> my gynecologist is still in Albany I'm gonna be here today and tomorrow do all the things keep working at my goals hit up my favorite food spots while I'm here that's the plan I'm gonna pull out my little daily reminders list I made this year I'm gonna look at it every day and one of them is to eat more protein shoot for like a hundred grams daily I don't even know what that means I'm not even like tracking, so I don't know how I would know. I'm thinking of my friend Cindy Adams. Shout out, you guys know her. She's just always told me like, if you make a conscious effort to eat more protein every day, you're gonna feel better, you're gonna have better energy, you're gonna sleep better, all the things. So I've been trying. So I had like a bunch of protein powder and collagen in my smoothie, and we're gonna go get lunch right now. I'm gonna get a salmon salad, some more protein. Another goal that I have is to drink more water specifically like 120 ounces because I think that's three of these big 40 ounce Stanleys. So those are some goals we have to start with and now let's go pick up what? Yum! If you guys live here, it's just so good. I honestly think about this salad often, <laughs> like too much. Look at her. I don't know why. Something about their balsamic at Blini's counter is so good. The salmon, they like put on the grill fresh right in front of you. I do like spinach and romaine. I have some like chickpeas and black beans and carrots and dried cranberries. And it's just like the yummiest salad ever. Just got to Planet Fitness, which is so brave of me to do a workout after a big salad. I actually didn't finish all of it because I was like Gretchen. Last time I did a big workout, like whenever I have like a big smoothie bowl or a big salad like that, like something like a lot of food and kind of heavy, and then you go to work out, you just feel it like rumbling around in your stomach. But I was hungry as lunch, I might eat. So I don't think I said in the first one, another goal of mine that I have for 2023, which will be challenging, but it'll be a good challenge for me to work on. I was going to do the 10,000 step thing and I was like, Gretchen, ramp it up a bit. I bet if you committed to 15,000 steps a day, you could do it. So I got to chip away at that. And head into Planet Venice, walk uphill. Also, walking on incline, having that as a goal to just hit those steps is making me like Planet Fitness more because it kind of gives me anxiety in there. But if I know that I'm just gonna like walk on incline, do stuff on my phone, yeah, like multitask, then I feel better and I'm not having like gym anxiety. This is actually a perfect time to shout out the sponsor of this video. Thank you so much, Lululemon, for working with me on this video. This is their Wonder Puff jacket right here. I love this taupe color. I think I showed you guys in December when I got this. Love it so much. Also have it in black. I think they have longer lengths as well. And then I can insert footage right here of the outfit I'm wearing underneath. Also, Lululemon. And I'm in there and I'll um, show you guys some of my new favorites. Some new fresh pieces I got 
for fresh new year. Also signed up for a yoga class tomorrow morning. So I'm gonna wear this like cute new set that I got. I can't wait. Yeah, I'm mostly a size six and everything. If that helps for Lululemon, I think these Wonder Unders right here are a four. Sometimes leggings I do four. Jacket, six. Sports bras, I like in a six or even an eight. Sometimes I don't want it too tight if that's for sizing. I'll have everything. I'm gonna show you guys link down below in the description. So yes, gonna insert that right here and head into the gym. You guys saw at the gym i was wearing my flow y bra and actually those leggings are their new fabric of their wonder unders which kind of bring me back to the old days of like the first wonder unders that i ever had so i can link those in the description i really like those those are like the most recent lululemon leggings that i bought and then we've got this is so exciting because i've had this scuba gray sweatshirt forever and I think it's like my most worn Lululemon piece I wear it every single week it's like so so comfy but I got the scuba gray <laughs> that's daddy <laughs> please hold come here go 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 come on you keep working because you heard me go 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 I'm up here <gasps> good job come here bring me your teddy come here <laughs> <laughs> okay, where was I? I was saying these shorts were so exciting. When I found them recently, I was like, have I been living under a rock? These are the best things ever because I've had my gray scuba joggers to go with this for a while. Always wear it together as a set, the most comfy thing ever. But I didn't even know they had the same version, but in shorts. And these are like my most worn thing recently. I wear them like days in a row. They're so comfortable lounging around, running around, sleeping, and I'm like, literally the comfiest ever so highly recommend then can you tell i have a favorite style and color you guys like i said i had the jogger style for a while but then i noticed they had the shorts and they also had like a flare kind of version of the sweatpants i was like you're coming home with me literally the most comfortable like high quality really nice fitting sweats ever i'm gonna back up all the way over here Sorry, it's dark over there. But I think we have some good natural lighting in the hallway over here. Anyway, I just love a good matching set. So comfortable. The soft is inside. And you know what I've been doing recently? When it's really cold out in my walks, I'll wear like my wonder unders, my lines, whatever. And I'll put these on top to have like two layers of pants when it's really cold out and I'm walking ready. Anyway, literally the best sweatpants ever you need. Just trust me. Okay, then last but not least, we've got this white sports bra and bike shorts that I'm actually about to wear to a yoga class. Like I said, you guys will see later on in this vlog. And I'm obsessed. I've never had the white Align biker shorts. I just thought this would be such a fun outfit for specifically hot yoga because it gets so hot in there that I actually like doing it in shorts. See, it's like you can't win because in the leggings are really hot, but in the shorts, then sometimes your legs get so sunny, you're like slipping around. No, but yeah, I love doing hot yoga in the Align little bike shorts. So these are amazing. A lot of mine are the six inch. These I actually got in the eight inch. Yeah, and then this is my first one shoulder style sports bra from Lululemon. And I love it. I think it's so cute. I love this together as a set. And if you're thinking, Gretchen, it's winter. Aren't you gonna freeze? Nope, I'm not. Out of like my sweatpants that I've been wearing every day, just like in the shorts, right on top. Look at that. Bada bing, bada boom. Does anyone else, I kind of love going to the gym or workout class. This is so niche in the winter and like bundling up on top because I feel like in my head now I've convinced myself, like I'm just hanging, I'm just cozy in my sweats. But then it's like, tricking my brain like no we're actually going to work out but like it's I'm like oh it's not that deep we're just like hanging out relaxing I mean, so that's, that's what it feels like I don't know if that makes any sense but anyway I will have my new phase from Lululemon linked down below in the description so that we can twin oh my goodness you guys wow I was not expecting that because I was like 
my gosh, I just ate like a sandwich salad. I'll like, just get some steps in. But I already feel like this step goal is so fun for me because I've never really looked at steps before and it's just like a fun new way to look at movement. It's kind of like mixing up for me because I feel like I've always been like, oh, I should work out for this long or do like this exercise or whatever it is. Sorry, now my mom's saying, oh, she's about to walk with Teddy. I want to do that. Okay, what was I going to say? I started off walking, but then the step thing, I'm like, wait, I want to get more steps but I don't have that much more time. I'm just going to start running, which like... I didn't think I was gonna run at all. So now I'm like so sweaty and hot. <laughs> yeah, so that's so fun. I'm ready over 10,000. If I walk, Teddy, keep walking around the rest of the day, I think I'll hit 15. Yeah, it's just like a, I don't know. I'm just, yeah, it's just fun because I've never really looked at it before. So it's like motivating me. And I feel like you can do that walking outside, walking on a treadmill, running, inside, outside, whatever. So yeah, wow, that was great. I'm really tired. Now I'm like, do I go home and walk with them? I don't think I have time. I don't think I said earlier, but another appointment today, we're having all the appointments, is I have a follow-up with my psychiatrist, and it's like over like a online thing, like a virtual appointment, um, not in person, so I don't think I have enough time to drive home before I do that, which I was gonna, but then I was like, oh, I could just run, and then I could just do it like sitting here in the car. Can I do it as I'm driving? Probably not. We're doing all the things, taking care of our mental health, our physical health, and all the ways this vlog so yes sorry um, my brain's hanging out so many things about this plane my, my mom texts me maybe she can just walk today now and i'll walk him later to get my steps <laughs> but don't worry i'm not about to be one of those i don't think i'm gonna like live and die by the steps like it's just like a fun way to push myself and challenge myself but if i'm like not feeling it or feeling like sick one day or busy traveling whatever like i it's gonna be fine because i feel like some people get like addicted to the watches that's another thing i don't think i said I'm wearing the carbon watch just at least in the beginning to see because I feel like like on a treadmill and stuff your phone does steps but like not on a treadmill so I just wanted to wear this for a little while and then I think I'll get the hang of like okay maybe like an hour walking on the treadmill and then like two walks a day with Brody gets me close to 15,000 or whatever it is so oh yes okay I need to cool off <laughs> You guys just rolled out of bed and sorry I didn't vlog anymore last night I honestly was like so in the moment I remember at dinner being like whoa should I be filming this was I vlogging today I was just having like the most quality time with my mom it was so nice we decided to go to Emery's Emery's Garden, I believe. It used to be called Trigger Garden and it was renamed. Um, and they changed their menu and it was really good. We really, really liked our dinner. The vibe in there is like so cute. So I recommend if you visit Albany, live here, whatever. Um, so yeah, that was really good. And I just feel like it's crazy because I want to talk about some of the things, some more goals I have healthy habits, if you will, just like routines I want to keep for the new year. You know, one of them is not touching my hair. I'm going to add that to my list. It's not on there and I need to not, but I was just touching my hair because I was just thinking about how. Are you ready? That's all I was saying, right? Oh, I didn't finish my thought. Another resolution to finish my thought. Okay. Which one do we start with? We have two things at once. Okay. Let's start with what I was going with. I wanted to show, brought these out here in the bathroom. <laughs> To show, actually the lighting is getting here. To show my little journals that I'm gonna keep going with because one of the things I have on my like daily checklist is just gratitude journaling daily. And the five minute journal I've had this for like years because I like will get in the routine of it every day and then stop and whatever. And then this one my sister got me and it has like really good prompts. It's the We're Not Really Strangers one and I love it. And so far I've missed a day. I've been doing both every day. So we'll see how that keeps going. And I'm not going to be too strict with myself on it. But if I can, at least once a day at the five minute journal, you do morning and night. It actually does like change your mindset for the day and help you set an intention. And maybe like it's like low key, like subliminal, like or like subconscious, like your subconscious is like pushing you towards the day that you want. Because what I was trying to say is in the five minute journal, it says um, something like, what would make today great? And I think I wrote at like 7 a.m. yesterday, it wasn't even Albany yet, I wrote like really nice like quality time with my mom. And then I felt like we had the best dinner and like the best conversation where we were just like both really like opening up with each other and how we felt and yeah. I don't know, it was really great. So journaling is one of the things. Then we've got, this is what I was gonna say while I was touching my hair, I got this little silk, bonnet I believe you say and I have not missed a night sleeping in that yet putting my hair in it because I saw one too many TikToks of girls in it like I'm doing all the things for my hair I'm doing the scalp oiling the deep 
conditioning treatments, the Nutrafol, the everything except for this. And I kept seeing TikToks being like, sleep with your hair in like the silk bonnet. It makes it so the like friction of the pillowcase, I don't know, isn't damaging to your hair. And girls were like, we noticed such a difference. So I was like, I'm, a, I'm trying everything I can. So yeah, I feel like those I don't even have written down because I actually do just like oil my hair and deep condition like every time I wash my hair. So. I don't need to like write that down. Okay, then like I said, Nutrafol, another thing on my list to be consistent with this, stick with this, because I feel like people see the best results when they are really consistent. So I've been going with this. You actually take four every morning if you guys haven't taken Nutrafol or don't know about it, which is crazy. I'm like, am I supposed to be taking so many pills? But yes, that's what you're supposed to do. And I also don't even know if I said yesterday, so I'm talking so much right here, but I just wanted to sprinkle in some more things that I'm doing. Even like, I have my athletic greens out there right now that I'm gonna go do. I don't have that on my list. That I don't know if I can keep up with every day because that's something else, again, I'd like, I'm such in a habit with doing every day and then I get away from it and then I come back to it. So I feel like just like here and there. I don't think I showed my Garmin. I got this over the summer and I was like, am I gonna wear this? And I actually have like worn it a ton and this is really helpful for my step goal, I know I was telling you guys 15,000 steps because I like to walk on incline on the treadmill. And so then you don't know your steps because like your phone does your steps, but then it doesn't know when you are moving in place and not like walking outside. So anyway, this has been fun. Oh wait, was I saying this? Now I'm having deja vu. Maybe I was saying this. I can't remember how if I get into a groove of like, okay, an hour walk on the treadmill plus like two walks with Brody a day and my normal walking around movement every day is probably around 15,000 maybe I will take this off because honestly this is so dumb but the only thing that bothers me is when it like hits my bracelets they kind of all like clank together but whatever and it's nice seeing my sleep as well because I'm gonna end this here I'm talking so much but um I'll fill you in later I'm trying to have better sleep habits as well and this like tracks your sleep too but good morning <laughs> just got to hot yoga see you in there That was so good. Such a nice form of movement. I love a good, hot, sweaty, <laughs> stretchy moment. And then you said it was so good. Mmm, that was so good. That was very like relaxing and peaceful as well. And I really like the music. That always makes all the difference. Okay, now I can't decide. The whole class I was thinking of a coffee. Like I really want to go get a coffee. I haven't had a coffee this morning. Or do I want a smoothie? But I don't really want to do both because it's like a lot of liquids and I want to go walk on the treadmill a bit. Maybe we do coffee, treadmill, come back, smoothie after the treadmill. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, coffee first, smoothie later. <laughs> You guys, there's no one gonna remind me how good their pistachio cream cold brew is. Oh my gosh. I saw it back on their menu, maybe it was off for a little bit. I remember when it came out last year, trying it for the first time with my friends and we were like, this is delicious. And I forgot about it, cause I think it must be like seasonal or something. The little things that they put on top. <sighs> Yum, I was gonna do like Ice vanilla latte oat milk like I normally do or like the brown sugar shake and espresso and I saw this and I was like mm. oh my god I'm gonna chug this is so good I feel like I haven't had a Starbucks in a while because Max and I always make our own at home ever since I got that espresso machine which I didn't know that I was gonna use so much and I literally do I love it so much. It was like expensive but like such a good investment because I make ice vanilla lattes at home like every day but yum also Got their little bacon egg bites. Yeah, these are my favorite. I feel like I can't go to Starbucks and not get these. Morning, afternoon, evening, I'm like, they always sound like a good idea. They're just like the yummiest little yummy. <laughs> I don't know, I've also never tried making them at home, but I really need to because everyone says it's like so easy and like a muffin tin or something and probably is less junk in it that doesn't need to be added but you could just do like really simple like eggs bacon cheese and even people like put them in the freezer and kind of like meal prep breakfast and stuff so i need to try to do that mm, that is so good having a day oh my gosh i'm so sweaty like more sweaty than hot yoga my walk turned into a run again how i trick myself i'm so tired I'm so happy right now, you guys. 
Okay, I'm looking naked because I was burning up. I was like a million degrees. I was like, I gotta cool off here. Um, this lighting is literally horrible, but <clears throat> I'm so happy. I grabbed a smoothie. Coffee first, smoothie later, remember? Still kind of working on my coffee. <laughs> I have all the beverages. This one's so good. I just do... Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a name here, but any smoothie place ever, if there's one on the menu that's like, just like banana, peanut butter, maybe some protein powder, cinnamon, ice, just like really simple. Oh, maybe sometimes like Greek yogurt or whatever, but just like a, pretty much like a banana peanut butter smoothie. It's my favorite. It's just so simple and good when they add a bunch of cinnamon like this. Mmm. So good. Exactly what I needed. Good morning, you guys. <laughs> this is so real that I'm vlogging right now. I don't know why I just decided to whip this out. Actually, I do know why. Because I need your tips. I need help. I woke up with my eyes like swollen shut. I don't know if you can tell. Like so puffy. Nor my hair. <laughs> I'm glad really high up. Why is my whole face swollen? I was like, what the heck? I woke up and my eyes felt so weird. And I literally dunked my face in a bucket of ice water. I'm like, I don't know what else to do. Have you found my ice roller in the freezer? I'm just like going at it. I'm kind of like holding out my eyes to depuff. I don't know what the heck, but I didn't show you guys. I'm so sad. Sorry. Hi, I'm back in Utica. I keep like just stopping vlogging in like the afternoon. And sorry, I feel like all my vlog, I'm just like sitting in the car <laughs> chatting with you guys. But um, I'm coming, Brody. Hang on. Now Brody's like, I got a female. Let me out. So I gotta go. But Hannah and Taylor and I went out to dinner before I left to come back to Utica. And I would say, like, if I had, like, really, really salty food that I would wake up with, like, a really puffy face. I don't think I did. Like, we had, like, crispy Brussels sprouts, this ricotta appetizer thing. And I was going to do a Caesar salad, which I feel like those can be really salty. And I changed my mind and I got this short rib with, like, roasted carrots. Maybe there was just like a lot of salt on all that food. I don't know. But I woke up and I'm like, what the heck? Also, my skin has been so dry. It's been cracking, peeling off. And I went to bed with like the thickest layer of moisturizer. Was it that? Like, I don't know. Does anyone else? You didn't get to see, but my eyes were literally like <laughs> so swollen. Okay, I'm also going to be better at showing you guys things, not just chatting in the car. So, I was about to do my athletic greens. And then I was like, why don't I show you guys also one thing i'm out i didn't grab from the cake is one of those frother things so now i just mix forever <laughs> but it's easier if you have one of those little metal frothers you guys know what i mean <laughs> okay i gotta go get it together a little bit fix this hair situation but you guys didn't know i thought it greens just like vitamins minerals helps with digestion not sponsored but yeah i just like it makes me feel like i'm being my healthiest self there's just like a lot of benefits. Honestly, anything I can help with my health and anything that remotely is like helps with sleep, whatever. I'm like done, I'll try it because I've been so bad to sleep. I don't know if I was mentioning that, but that's something else I'm working on this year. We're gonna do two birds with one stone in Nutrafol. Like I said, you take four at a time. So I do like two and two. Here we go. Bottoms up. <laughs> I didn't. I was distracting you. It's your guys' fault. You guys were distracting us filming. I literally have never done this. That's how today's gonna be. Are you kidding me? I'm so mad right now. Okay, I'm gonna mix up some more athletic greens real quick. Hang on. Dang it. Take my last two neutrals. Wow, I was all prepared to set them out. Oh, oh boy. Okay, clean that up real quick. That's how today's going. That's what I get for trying to be healthy. All right, only up from here. <laughs> and better news, look how pretty the view is from our little kitchen sink whenever it snows in the morning. Like this makes me so happy and so excited to go outside and walk Brody. We're gonna go to the P-A-R-K after I have breakfast and it's gonna be so fun. He loves nothing more than running around in the snow. Okay, then I have other things that I don't really have down as like daily, everyday things or goals, but they're just kind of like intentions that I'm thinking about on a day-to-day -day basis. Like, I love that I was just vlogging so much. My hair, like not even, like I could have put it in a better clip like this. I want to try to get ready, I'm using that in a really loose sense. 
every day. Like, for me, that's literally doing like a little bit of moisturizer and drink elephant drops. I already feel more put together than if I just did like no skincare at all, you know? So I figured I could show this as well because I don't really need to put on makeup every day, but like I feel better if I try a little bit. Oh goodness, I'm running low over here. Also in the beginning of this vlog, just looking back, I'm like, I think I went a little crazy with the drunk elephant bronzing drops because I was looking really kind of orange. I'm like, when the face is a completely different color than the hands, that's when you know. <laughs> but like to me, yeah, this just makes a little bit of difference. Feels like you're wearing makeup a little bit, feel a little bit more put together to like, you know, leave the house, do things. And Brody and I are gonna go on a walk in the park. He keeps whining because I think he heard me say park. He's like, lady, I'm ready. And then might swing into the grocery quick. So like, yeah, even this makes me feel better. My like no makeup look, but I'm trying to be a little presentable is literally drunk elephant drops, curling my eyelashes, and like too much good to go. Even like wearing the lemon defined jacket, I feel more put together than wearing like sweatpants because I have no problem like leaving the house in like sweats, which is fine. But like even if I'm just doing athleisure, I feel a little bit better, you know. Gosh, I my skin has been so dry, my lips are so trapped they like ache. I like loading up on the lineage right now. Cause, oh, I just feel like all around my lips has been so red. Anyone else? It's just so dry. I feel like a little kid <laughs> with like just really chapped lips. Dude, why do I wake up so swollen? Like I don't even know. Okay, also, I feel like you guys have told me maybe these aren't like the best, but Lumify, like literally bronzing drops, curling my eyelashes and Lumify, I feel like that's my hack for like not wearing makeup but looking really crisp and put together because Lumify is like whitening eye drops so I just feel like little bronzy, little curled eyelashes, contrast with like bright looking eyes, good to go. Okay, lastly, jewelry. Like obviously I want to wear my ring every day. Sometimes I sleep in it, sometimes I don't. Like you guys say it's not good so yeah. That's always fun wearing that. And earrings, especially with my hair in the back. A little claw clip. Oh, this is also Lululemon as well. It's my favorite one because it's a big one, so it fits all your hair if you have long hair or thick hair. And yeah, I just feel more me, even if I'm not gonna do makeup right away. Like I'll do makeup later tonight because Max is off game, but yes. Okay, let's go eat our breakfast quick. I just threw it together and then we're off. The only thing is I have so many things I do in the morning now, like I just journaled, <laughs> slept in my bonnet. I just have so many things, but hopefully the longer my routine, I just can do it without even thinking, you know? And it doesn't have to feel like so many steps. Oh, <laughs> he's stalking. <laughs> I feel like you're following my every move this morning. Oh, he's like, lady, I'm ready. Did you miss me when I was in Albany? Yeah, a little bit. He also likes raspberries, he might want one. <laughs> okay, got my breakfast all put together. Look at her, sorry, it's hard to show. Just Greek yogurt, plain Greek yogurt. I actually, wait, I'm gonna flip this around so you can see. I normally do like a honey or a vanilla, like sweetened Greek yogurt, but I actually just got the plain this time, which can be pretty like sour, bitter. Sometimes we even use it as like a sour cream substitute. You guys know what I'm talking about. But I decided to get the plain this time because I remembered, I have a memory of Lucy and I being in like middle school and our dad would always make us breakfast and he would do like plain Greek yogurt with granola and blueberries and he'd be like, dad, this is so bitter. And I remember him putting honey on top and being like, there, now you'll like it. Like it's good for you. And I actually really like the way that tastes. Like it's just kind of like bitter with like the sweet raspberries, sweet granola, and then some honey on top. And it's really yummy. So I did that instead of like a sweetened yogurt this time and it's reminding me of him. It's gonna be so good. This is checking off my goal of like a high protein breakfast. I know Greek yogurt has a lot of protein. Yeah, look at me go. <laughs> like this vlog is actually so long. I didn't think it's gonna be this long, but I just have so many goals and so many things I'm working on every day. Literally, I don't know if you can see, it's like too bright, but I'm on my reminders app. You guys should do this. I have like an everyday checklist 
It's like drink the 120 ounces of water. Great, got going on that. Started chugging my Stanley, 15,000 steps. Perfect, working on that. Did I talk about going to bed before midnight and waking up like before eight? Yeah, just trying to do that. Get more sleep, be on a better routine with it. I think I talked about how my psychiatrist was like, sleep is so important. Maybe I didn't talk about it. Being on a consistent routine every day, like same bedtime, same wake up time is literally so important and I'm so bad with that. I can like make myself get up at six one day, sleep till 10 the next day, like I'm all over the place. So yeah, I've been working on that. Did my gratitude journal. I don't think I talked about wanting to post on TikTok daily again. That was the goal I had last year. I failed. I just had breakfast together and chat. I definitely was more consistent and definitely grew, but I, I want to listen back to my podcast episode of my goals last year because I do have you guys I'm like, hold me accountable. I want to hit 100K. I didn't hit 100K, but I will say I was a lot more consistent than I ever was in the past and like really push myself to make content and like be more creative and out of the box because TikTok is like a whole new world and challenge for me since it's just like a newer platform and I've done YouTube and Instagram for so long. So no, yeah. that's fun for me. Keeps me creative, inspired, all that. Did I talk about how I don't want to be on my phone first thing before I go to bed? Yeah, I have like times like don't go on my phone first thing when I wake up for at least a while. I don't know, 30 minutes, whatever. Sometimes it's hard. I need to like check the weather if I'm walking Brody or see if someone texts me because we're going to apply this together. So like that, but I really try not to like be consuming content on my phone in the morning. I feel like it makes all the difference. We all know that makes you not reactive, more like proactive. Yeah. And then um, I try to like plug in my phone, put it away at like 10 so that. I'm not on it, but that's also hard for me because I always want to be available to my friends and family. So it's kind of a challenge for me. Sometimes when I go to bed at like 11, I'll just look at it really quick to make sure I didn't get texts. So I'm just kind of like working with all these things. Literally, I have so many. <laughs> Walking with Brody in the morning and night. I don't know if I talked about that. And I guess lastly, because I feel like I'm talking so much, this vlog is so long with sleep. I might have mentioned here and there. I've been struggling with it a lot. I can feel like really anxious at night and worried. Talk to my psychiatrist about it. She was like the consistent bedtime and wake up time. And yeah, everybody's eating with me. I was really gonna help you. It's annoying that I'm eating and talking at the same time. She was like, I'm sure you know about healthy sleep habits, but she kind of went over some more with me and it's like, you can research them. Like they help so much, like really keep going with that. Cause she's like very conservative with medicine. Like I don't wanna prescribe you, you know, sleeping medication, anxiety, whatever it is for at night. And we don't need to. So um, I was telling her how I want to show you guys my Ollie sleep gummies. Also that sponsor, I feel like everything I'm like, look at, I wish, please sponsor me. These actually help me so much. I'm sure you guys have seen them in Target and stuff. That's how I found them years ago. So I just want to mention if you struggle with like winding down at night, I really struggle with that. What I have in my everyday list is like Ollie and tea at night because tea, I like feel like I don't even like it that much. I just, I feel like that's like a thing. Like the wellness girlies have their tea after dinner and I've always been like, meh, I don't really care about that. But I will say since it's like a hot beverage, it kind of is like soothing at night and I feel like it makes me like slow down. So I like it for that. Also, it helps me hit my 120 water goal, ounce goal. So I'm like, okay, I need to be doing that because it really helps me wind down. I like notice a difference. And then my always sleep comments, I try to take like 30 minutes before I go to bed because I think, okay, I've taken melatonin in the past and I feel like it doesn't help me that much. Like maybe it helps me stay asleep. Also, Pure melatonin, me and my sister feel like it gives us really weird dreams and when we try to get up in the night we feel like our legs aren't working, like, I don't know. Like it makes you feel really like disoriented, but for some reason Ollie's don't, even though there's melatonin in here, maybe there's less or something. And there's L-theanine, botanicals, like other things, chamomile, passion flower. In my head, I don't know that much about it, I should like research, but the L-theanine, I'm guessing that's what it is, or the other things, other than the melatonin, really calm me down. <laughs> Yeah, Brody's eating instead of me. <laughs> Enjoy. And they really like relax me at night so that I can fall asleep. And I just, I always say to people, I tell them to take Ollie's, like my friends, if they're having trouble sleeping. I'm like, you can fight against it and stay up. Like if I'm on my phone or like watching a movie or something, I'll stay up. But I'm like, you need to take it and lay there and be like, I'm so cozy. Wow, I feel so relaxed. I'll just lay there and be like, wow, I'm like really comfortable. And falling asleep is just way easier than normally I lay there. And I'm like, I'm wide awake. There's so much to think about, so much to worry about. I literally feel like tense. I'm like, I can't like relax. So yes, it's been helping a ton. You guys should try if you have trouble sleeping. And I don't know why I was like worried about taking those often. I'm like, oh, is this like bad or whatever? My psychiatrist was like, that's great. Like sleep is so important. You're not sleeping enough and like consistently and stuff. So if that's working for you, great. And I was like, okay, good. I just needed, I needed someone to like, give me permission to take those and tell me it's a good idea. So anyway, 
I'm feeling like a nutball. I'm telling you guys so many things, but those are like majority of work what I'm working on every day because I'm very like here are my goals for the year if it's to like feel healthier more energy more well rested if that's eating protein to be more but I'm like okay how can I actually get there like what is what is like every day look like so like conscious effort to like make eat more protein fall asleep earlier at night stuff like that has really been helping helping so 2024 is my year so you guys year two two with me join me this is so long I wanted to end with like going to the park with Brody in the grocery store but this would be literally the longest vlog ever so maybe we'll just have a little clip at the end me and Brody running around in the snow but I really hope you guys enjoyed this new year's vlog I don't know why I'm feeling like it's the longest vlog ever I feel like I'm chatting so much some of my healthy habits and goals um there's an overall feeling of like wellness I'm in control of my everyday life living life on my own terms advocating for myself you know it's like what I'm taking into the new year I'm laughing. Okay, I'm having breakfast with Gretchen and Max and Brody. <laughs> By the way, hanging, I'm getting distracted. Hanging these pictures was like the best thing I could have done in this house because it makes me feel so like cozy and at home and I love them. Okay, really ending this off here. Love you guys. See you in my next video. Bye.